Candace, I'm here with Confidential Talk. Today we are doing a pre dick appointment checklist. Okay, I am actually uh, gonna be leaving to go to my man's house after this, so it actually is really appropriate for me to go ahead and do this. So you know, we gonna talk about some things, and I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys what you need before a dick appointment. Don't get it twisted. You don't have to be glammed up you don't have to be doing the most i actually only just did my makeup because i actually am going out his way uh specifically to do something prior to meeting him so you know i had to kind of look my best so that's why i have my face beat but this scenario pre dick appointments it's not about being glammed up your focus is really on your body and your hygiene and everything else that kind of goes into looking and smelling good so let's get into this checklist if you are new to my channel welcome my name is Candice. I do videos on sex, love, relationships, and all things vaginal health. Um, make sure you check out some of my other videos. Make sure you guys comment. I love responding to you guys. I love having conversation. Let's talk about it. You know what I'm saying? If you got some things that you want to add to the list, go ahead, add it. Comment below, subscribe to the channel, and become part of the Confidential Talk family. And check out my website, you know, confidentialtalk.com. Go ahead and subscribe to that over there, okay? Um, and I also have a shop over there where you can get, you know, my personal recommendations of sex toys. So make sure you guys check that out. Oh, okay link below check it out but yes let's get into this checklist so there are three parts of this pre dick appointment checklist there is going to be your hygiene part there's your beauty part and then that's the sexy part okay so we gonna start off with hygiene now everybody you know preferences are different so i'm going to kind of talk about what is most you know relevant to me okay so if for instance you know i love to get rid of my body hair, okay? If that's not you, if you, you know, like keeping your hair because, you know, I, you know, body hair is to protect you. So, you know, if you are somebody that's like really strong about not shaving or anything like that, that part will not pertain to you. So just, you know, skip it, ignore it or whatever, okay? It's not important, okay? You know your body, you comfortable with what you got, you know what I'm saying? Do what's best for you. But this list is going to be kind of more related to my, you know, my, um, my preferences, okay? So starting off with the hygiene part of the checklist. So, you know, um, obviously take a shower. You know, make sure you clean everything and do not exclude your feet in the bottom of your feet, okay? This is a dick appointment. You are going over there specifically to get dick. This is not something that just came up. It just happened. You're specifically going over there for dick. So you want to make sure that you are snatched head to toe when it comes to your hygiene. You want to make sure you are clean. So do not exclude the bottom of your feet because motherfuckers be sucking toes. And if you haven't had that done to you, you are missing out, okay? I don't really have any recommendations as far as like scenty soaps and stuff like that to make you smell good. I don't use scented stuff. Um, I actually have eczema all over my body, so I can't use scented soaps really. So I actually just use um, Dove, just like regular Dove uh, bar soap, the unscented. So I'm pretty boring when it comes to that. But I do use Honey Pot, okay? I absolutely love Honey Pot. Now, this is um, a a um this is a soap for your hoo -ha, okay she is to help keep your your ph balanced and um just to give you like a sensitive cleansing down there versus using other soaps that are not going to necessarily like help keep your ph balanced so i used to did not use vaginal soaps that much i just always used dove everywhere and as i've gotten older i noticed that you know obviously you experience changes with your body so that's when i kind of start like experimenting with like different soaps um and one of the ones that i have tried is honey pot and i love i love this shit okay i love this shit okay because i don't know about you guys sometimes when you you're ending your cycle it can really knock some things off so i have found that honey pot kind of helps me keep it all balanced okay so i do really like this soap 
Um, I do use this as well too. This is Pure Castile Soap. Um, it's an AT in one hemp peppermint soap. It gives you like that really aftermath peppermint feeling, like a fresh, clean skin. I really like this. I used to use this like on my intimate areas. Now I don't not when it comes to like washing down there, I'm not putting anything up anywhere okay so i definitely don't recommend that guys you're not supposed to put soaps in your vagina i don't know if you guys don't know that but i just want to make that very clear you know you're supposed to wash the outside of your the vulva which is the outside of your vagina the inside is the vagina the outside is the vulva so like you gotta wash the vulva leave the vagina alone it cleans itself you don't need to do anything with the inside of you okay so um i do like this soap recommend it and that's pretty much it so yeah i don't use the perfect me stuff and scrubs i know some people like scrubs stuff like that it ain't me so y'all yeah. i do recommend trimming if you are somebody that kind of you know wants or your partner is somebody that doesn't like body hair i know you know some people are very vocal like hey i would prefer you have it completely waxed or whatever so whatever your situation is you know actually have that together trimmed i if you you are looking for you know a solution to get rid of body hair without shaving i don't know if you guys have checked out my uh, bikini cream video i'll definitely have that link in the description box um i do a review on the bikini cream um Nair, by nair and I absolutely love this stuff. This is actually what I use. Uh, so I do have a video on like how to use it. Uh, pretty much my overall review of it. Um, so I'll definitely have that if you want to check that out. But I usually use the Nair Bikini Cream and I trim. And like I've been using this actually for probably a little over a year now. And I do notice that my hair doesn't grow back as fast. It did take a minute for me to get there. But now that I've been using consistently over a period of time. My hair actually doesn't grow back like super fast like it normally would like when you shave so i do recommend there if that is something that you are kind of like struggling with right now when it comes to shaving but um yeah make sure you guys you know shave your armpits um your legs you know usually in intimate moments you know you could get maybe a massage or they like to touch you know your partner might want to you know massage your legs or you know just rub your legs and rub your body so you want to make sure you're not like super prickly down there like i actually just rubbed my legs okay i did yeah i did okay i'm good because uh, i in the shower and th that's what don't check this type of stuff in the shower if you're checking for pricks it needs to be dry legs because i actually checked in the shower and i just got worried for a second because i did feel a prick but i am good okay so you know, make sure you guys shave your legs, your armpits, because, you know, especially when you're doing like this, you don't want, like, your bush hanging out, unless that is your thing, and that is totally okay. So, you know, make sure you guys get that together. Um, Now, we're going to move over to the beauty checklist, and now this is really important to understand, like, you don't need to go over there with a beat face because I probably don't recommend going over there with makeup on, okay? I'm actually going to recommend not to do that because what's going to end up happening is you're going straight to a bed or a couch or uh, a countertop, wherever y'all, you know, you might be a little bit more you know safe when it comes to the countertop but if you know that you are probably more likely gonna have sex in a bed where there's pillows leave the face at home okay like if you can maybe go over there with just your eyebrows done and you know some maybe some lashes your your baby hair is on fleek make sure your hair is nicely groomed it don't have to be like super perfect and on fleek but just make sure it's nicely groomed and like it looks good you have like a maybe a more of a natural look I recommend maybe going that route versus doing the full face of makeup, okay? It's not fun to get makeup on your mate's clothes and their pillows and stuff like that. Like, that's just embarrassing. So, I recommend don't even go over there with your makeup done. If you can avoid going over there with the full face, I will just do that. Um, let's see. But yeah, just like your hair cute, eyebrows done, you know, and lashes put on. Keep it simple. You know what I mean? Like, just put some mascara on, especially if you have, like, naturally long lashes. I feel like you'd be Gucci. Um, let's see. Unless, you know, unless you do, you know, feel more confident with makeup on, then God bless you. Or if you have, like, really, really good high-end shit. I got the Fenty, and the Fenty, she still be rubbing off. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. Like, if you got that good shit that, like, <laughs> that's not rubbing off, then it's your world, you know? Um, and drop in the comments if you can recommend some brands that are, you know, not, because Fenty, my foundation is like $42 maybe, like around that price range. So like anything under 50 
if you guys can recommend a foundation under 50 that is like resistant to everything drop it in comments i feel like most of them are going to be more than 50 so i don't know anyways um anywho, let's see here now you don't need anything polished you don't need your toenails polished you don't need your like nails polished just make sure they're not chipped so if you do have like half ass like chip polish on your toes just go ahead and take that off before you go over there just take it off you know or take use the same color and polish over it whatever you need to do usually that doesn't work the overall look doesn't look good so i would just recommend taking off your polish um you want to smell good so i recommend using like a scented lotion and perfume prior to going over there like you want it to be able to kind of sit in your skin a little bit beforehand so you know when they're kissing on you and licking on you they're not tasting your perfume so like don't I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing it like right before you walk in like if you do it maybe spray it on your skin or spray it on your body like right before you leave the house if you know you have a little bit of a drive just so it could just kind of set because I've tasted perfume or cologne before and it's just it don't taste good to nobody so have that shit on put that shit on but you the thing is scented lotions depending on the brand Scented lotions don't last as long. So I would recommend maybe using the perfume or maybe using something a little bit stronger, but just using it at home. Now, body oil. I recommend taking the body oil with you. There is something about shiny ass that, that people love. I will say people. Um, they love it. And, you know, if you watch porn, you see usually, like, people rub it, like, body oils or baby oil on their butt or their body and it just makes your body like kind of glisten and stuff like that so like i recommend taking like a body oil over there or if you got baby oil baby okay i got a bottle of baby oil i'm actually gonna take with me you know what I'm, saying? I'm about to put this in my bag so i am gonna take this with me um so you have a little fun you know uh what else so yeah now I pretty much covered yeah the, so like I said just want to keep it simple you the, the main focus is your body you want your body to smell good feel good look good be smooth and stuff like that so it's really the focus of your body now going on to the sexy part of the list now you don't have to wear lingerie you can wear just maybe a cute bra and panty set i mean honestly this is just an intimate moment now if you are for the dramatics and you like the lingerie you like the you know doing the most do it okay another way if you're like you don't have lingerie and you're trying to like amp up your sexy using stockings is a really good way to do it like even if you had like a panty and bra and you had like maybe some hot thigh highs on um or it's just some like fishnet stockings you can really just like enhance your your simple bra and panty set into something a little bit more sexier and more exotic with just using like fishnets or like stockings or thigh highs so kind of play around with that as well too or if you want to go just like naked and just have on stockings or something like that you could definitely do that um now now your intentions for a dick appointment you may spend a night or you probably come back home i don't know what your situation is but whatever you're going to wear over there or whatever you're going to present yourself in like as far as like being sexy as far as like um you know like turn up the mood if you're gonna wear like lingerie or your panty and bra sets like just wear it under your clothes so it's easy for you to just kind of like leave afterwards you don't have to have like a whole bag packed you can get down to business as soon as you get over there you can like take off your clothes and have like that whole dramatic moment you don't have to like go to the bathroom to clearly maybe set the mood you know what i mean like you can already have that stuff put out under your clothes so you know and then your outfit doesn't have to be spectacular because your clothes are coming off so jogging the outfits work okay you know a cute jogging set is really cute and comfy so you could wear like your little lingerie and stuff like that underneath your jogging set and you know and rock that so yes i recommend you know all those things guys if you want to add anything to the list please drop it in the um the comments below oh also also if you want to bring like sex toys you gotta bring your lube pack lube for sure I, if if people would just get rid of this stigma of like lube being a, such a negative thing lube is to protect you okay so just in case you might be in your feelings in your head and you might really want the dick but your body is not corresponding with what you want you will have lube to protect yourself from tearing, scarring, and, and other things like that nature, okay? Use lube. Don't be ashamed. Take 
pack your loop, okay? And pack you a sex toy, okay? And, you know, I don't know if you guys have tried the rose yet. Y'all need to try it if you haven't. Everybody loves it. So, you know, even maybe pack you like a sex toy like Rose. If you have a Rose toy already, this is a really good toy to use during sex with your partner. If while you're getting penetrated, you can actually sit this on your clitoris and get double stimulation. Okay? So, and I, um, if you don't have one, definitely check out my website and get you one. I actually have the low motor one. So, I know like when the Rose toys came out, a lot of people were saying they're like super aggressive and like... It was just too much this one actually is a quiet motor and it's like it's a little bit lower so like as you can hear it's very low and quiet and it has you know all the 10 settings that the rose toy usually has oh my god i'm gonna go so i definitely recommend trying the rose toy if you haven't already okay get one on my website confidentialtalk.com um if you sign up on the website you do get 10 percent off so make sure you guys do that um but if you already have one take it with you okay because that is a really good toy to use with your partner okay and i think that specifically males right now have this super like bad stigma when it comes to the rose they hate it they think it's in the way no it helps so, you know, help change the perspective and use it with your partner, okay? But, yes, that is all that I have for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys comment below, subscribe to the channel, and check out my website. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.